Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our webinar session for this afternoon entitled Deep Dive into Independent Homeschooling. So once again, thank you very much for all the viewers that we have for this afternoon, especially to the parents and the teachers who registered for this session. Now, this session is actually part of our Smart Homeschool webinar series, which is happening from June 9 to June 12, 2020 at 4 o'clock in the afternoon to 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, our speaker would be discussing on deep dive into independent homeschooling. So without further ado, let me introduce to you a former vice principal in an international school in Singapore, Mr. Joseph Tambio, MALPP. Hi, good afternoon to all who are tuning in this afternoon. And... <clears throat> I'm so happy because uh, I'll be able to share with you a, a new perspective, I must say. Uh, yesterday's uh, topic was also about, it's an introduction to homeschooling actually, and it, it gave you an idea, uh, some technical aspects of it, how, how to go to, uh, certain provider, the types of homeschooling, what are the things that you need to, to know. I will still be uh, trying to give more meaning into it as the title suggests. We are going to deep dive into homeschooling. Sana hindi tayo malunod. Ano? Uh, makita pa din natin yung kahalagahan ng mga uh, pangyayari sa buhay natin ngayon kung bakit tayo napunta sa ganitong klase ng uh, style of teaching. And uh, I, I believe uh, I will be able to give uh, uh, a different perspective. Okay? And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm a teacher by profession. And I am currently based here in Singapore. I, I just... Uh, designed from my work as vice principal for academics. But I have been into education since 2004. And I taught in almost all levels from the primary, secondary, and even in the tertiary level. <clears throat> so na nakita ko yung, yung kagandahan ng uh, <clears throat> bawat pagkakataon to meet the students and to teach them. Okay, so we'll be discussing deep dive into independent homeschooling. I would like to call your attention to the word independent, okay? Independent is a big idea for, for a teacher. And uh, when I say a big idea, I, I would like to, to bring that into smaller pieces. And therefore, it will lead us to a better understanding of what homeschooling really is. Okay. So just a disclaimer, for most of my presentation, I, I got this uh, from different sources. Okay. And I have here the references. And if ever this presentation will be uh, recorded, you can just go over it and uh, make a, uh, a thorough uh, study of it. Okay, well, we're going back to school soon. Okay, are you all excited? See the faces of these students. Do they look happy? Ah, medyo hindi. Sa tingin ko lahat tayo ngayon. Uh, what's happening in our society is unprecedented. Well, wala pang ganito dating nangyari. So, yung mga bata, may mga kinakausap ako at pag tinatanong ko sa kanila, uh, are you happy that you're going back to school? One of my students said, sir, which school are you talking about? Anong school ba yung babalikan? Or babalik pa nga ba ng school? Uh, yung school ngayon becomes a word na medyo relative. Hindi na siya Kagaya nung dati na pag tinanong mo, are you going back to school? There's only one answer to that. Yes, because there's no there's no option given. There's no choice. Talagang 
babalik sila dun sa school. Wala silang magagawa. But now, back to school is a big question. That's why the faces of this uh, cartoons may not look very happy. Okay, for the parents, uh, a lot of parents are now tuned into this webinar. Are you sad or happy when it's time for your children to go back to school? Uh, I was doing a simple research this past few days, and I've seen a lot of uh, articles, madaming survey na ginawa, and uh, most of which said that the parents usually feels very sad whenever back to school time comes. Why? Because they will not be seeing their children as often as they used to be during vacation. Uh, they, they will not be having that bonding moments as usual simply because the kids will be spending less time at home and will be spending some time in school. That means there is a separation. So the question now for homeschooling, parents, are you, are you also ready? And na po ba kayo? Uh, ito yung dapat natin itanong. Although uh, the Department of Education uh, at this present moment is, I must say, is still uncertain of some things that they, they need to repair. Kaya yung mga magulang din at a loss because there is a no, there's no clear guidelines in so far as going back to school is concerned. That is a cause not just to be sad but to be you know at some point disturbed anxious <clears throat> ito po yung itsura ng isa sa mga uh, study area ng bata so makita natin may maliit na lamesa may uh, mga ball pens and you see there is a, a makeshift for board for the student to write. There's even if you notice a bell to signify <clears throat> time. <clears throat> Dun sa talk yesterday, binigyan ng emphasis, ano yung mga kailangan? There has to be a space for learning, for study. So, isa sa mahalagang bagay that we need to consider when we are doing homeschooling is uh, the, the word is readiness. Are we prepared? You parents, are you prepared for this? Because this will require not just uh, a decision, but a commitment. Mahalaga po yun. Commitment. It's, you don't just simply say, yes, we will go for an independent homeschooling. And after which, what happens? So it's a commitment that you really ensure there's a continuum. Dapat tuloy-tuloy. Because if not, then it will not be so good for all. Not just for the student, for the parents, for the family as well. Are you ready, dear parents, <clears throat> to take on the responsibility Alam niyo, bilang teacher, ito, isa ito sa, sa pinakamagandang pagkakataon in, in, every, in every classroom to introduce. It could either be a moment of uh, happiness or at some point for some students or for some people, this is a moment na iniiwasan. No? Pagka yung magpapakilala na. Kadalasan pagka sinabi ng teacher, okay, uh, introduce yourself. Kanya-kanya uh, na ng style yan. May mga nagtatago, may mga nagtatakit ng mukha. Uh, while the role is, the role call is ongoing, kanya-kanyang uh, style. And uh, I have learned over the years how to make these students get up and introduce yourself. At this point, uh, this image is showing us <clears throat> it will be a new setup. Homeschooling. Take note of the word homeschooling. Uh, we've heard several times 
a lot of people have said it. I myself said it at one point. Now uh, we learn everything important first at home. Lahat ng mga bagay na halos pinakamahalaga na tutunan natin sa bahay. And it is safe to say that our home is actually a school. It was the first school where we were taught okay, the values. Okay? I remember yung, yung mother ko. She was, the first, she was my first teacher. Maybe all of us will say, my parents were my first teacher. Wala naman siguro sa atin na unang nung baby pa na sa skwela ka na agad. Kahit ngayon, yung trend ng education, may mga infant care, eh, hindi naman din yun talaga yung school. Everything was taught first at home. So homeschooling is a concept. It is not a new normal. It's been there. It we're just trying to uh, give a new terminology to it. But it has been into existence time immemorial. So mga magulang, handa na po ba kayo na kayo yung maging teacher? With, uh, this one, with all due respect to the fathers as well. No? Okay, what is homeschooling? Let's just have a quick review uh, of what was discussed already. So, <clears throat> it is the education of children at home, typically by parents or by tutors, rather than in other formal settings of public or private school. So the word homeschooling clearly tells us that the schooling will be done at home, okay? Uh, either by the parents, this one is in the independent homeschooling, or by tutors, we mean to say this will be the type of homeschooling where you will be employing uh, a provider, okay? This was discussed uh, uh, yesterday, and later I can share with you some of the slides as well. What else do we mean by homeschooling? Well, it's it's very uh, it's a good thing to know that even the Philippine Constitution provides for this, and uh, it's a legal option for parents. You know, hindi po ito labag sa batas, even in many countries. Ang sabi doon ay, ang sabi ng saligang batas, eh, obligasyon ng Estado na magbigay ng primary and secondary education. But the last part of that constitutional provision also says, uh, hindi din naman nito tinatanggalan ng karapatan yung mga magulang na maging guro sa kanilang mga anak. Okay? Ang ibig sabihin, kinikilala ng Estado yung kakayahan din ng, ng mga magulang, hindi lang ng nanay o ng tatay, kundi lang ng pamilya, na magbigay ng edukasyon. Okay? The, the word here is alternative. Okay? Alternative. What else? Uh, this form of schooling is recognized by the Department of Education. Okay? This is something that we should bear in mind. It is recognized by the Department of Education. So homeschooling is not something which is first against the law or something which is not in accordance with the debt and policy. So hindi po ito labag sa batas at hindi din po ito sumusuway sa pamantayan ng kagawaran ng edukasyon. But it is, it is supported. Okay? And uh, at some point, uh, at least the, the parent or the parent who will act as a teacher is a college graduate or at least undergraduate of, of college and can provide at least four hours of instruction. Okay? But this one is, is not a rigid provision. It can be uh, adjusted. Later on, we will know how and why. So, so far po, I'm, I've been receiving a lot of feedback here. No? So again, 
uh, I'm just trying to present a new paradigm of what independent homeschooling is. It means no pressure of learning all things. Okay, kasi ako naalala ko when I was, uh, I, stood, I graduated in a public school in, in my primary uh, school. Uh, and daming subjects. No? At kahit nung ako yung nagtutulog pa sa, ng high school sa Pilipinas, uh, ang dami din subjects. Ano? At uh, ang katibayan nito, makikita mo madaming notebook. At ang pinakamabigat na katibayang madaming subject ay yung bigat din ng bato. No? Uh, at lahat yon sinisikap ng mga paaralan na ma matulo. No? Uh, the basic would be math, English, science, Filipino, ecstasy for elementary, you have a little for high school, and then yung MAPE, tapos okay, music arts, PE, my PLE. If you're studying in a Catholic school, you will have Christian living, you will have values, education, education sa pagpapakatao. So imagine this. Okay? But homeschooling means no pressure of learning all things. It is done at any time, okay? Anywhere, of course, anywhere without uh, uh, the, the the main locus or the main uh, place to to do homeschooling, as the name itself is, of course, at home, by the learner, by the mother or provider. No, kadalasan binabanggit talaga yung nanay, no? Hindi ko din masyadong maintindihan. Sa so, lahat po ng research ko, palaging bina hindi, wala akong nakita na by the father. <laughs> hindi ko alam. But of course, it, it, it is without prejudice. No? Uh, naalala ko din, no? may ko lang mga nakalipas nung may mga pinakausap ako as we prepare for the home-based learning. No? Uh, hindi ko makalimutan. Minsan may tinawagan ako at sabi niya, uh, hindi, tanong mo na lang sa nanay. Uh, if that's why I'm I don't know. So so far, we we laid the foundation of what homeschooling is. No? Uh, gusto nating bigyang the end na yung homeschooling ay isang alternatibong pamamaraan ng pagbibigay ng tamang edukasyon. Okay, mahalaga po yon. It is an alternative means of providing education for our children, for the students. Okay? What else do we need to know? Home education should not be an attempt to bring the school construct into the home or a view of education as an academic preliminary to life. So the, the first part of this slide tells us we don't necessarily need to bring the school at home because that will be totally impossible. It's, uh, it will not happen no matter how much we try. In the same way, uh, look at this is very, uh, we always hear this phrase, sinasabi na ang paadalan ang pangalawang tahanan at ang mga the, the teachers are your second parents. You see, this is this is just a testament of what homeschooling is. Home and school should not be seen as a separate entity, but one is distinct from another. Yung yung Home is a place, and a school is a place as well. They are distinct. We, 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 ca we cannot, we cannot uh, replace one with with another. So, kung ang balak po ninyo is to go on an independent homeschooling, in, do not be pressured with the idea that I I need to to bring the entire setup of the school to my house to make it effective. Not at all. That is not what homeschooling is. Okay? 
uh, it must be seen as a natural experiential aspect of life. Later on, I will share with you my own definition of what the curriculum is and uh, some other perspective. Okay. <clears throat> What, what had happened during these past days, uh, at least here in, in Singapore, you know, we, we did some, uh, what happened was uh, the home-based learning. Lahat, when we went into circuit breaker, the school closed and uh, everyone went into home-based learning. So, walang walang uh, estudyante sa loob ng classroom, yung iba na iwan ay yung teacher na lang. Okay? And uh, I, I, I tend to disagree with the, the word uh, new normal for homeschooling. No? We, we cannot just accept that this is the new normal because uh, as one of my friends Chris said, and I uh, realized as well, ang hirap din, you know, ako personally, nakita ko yung kahalagahan, because man by nature is a social being. It needs interaction. It needs relationship. Okay? So sa homeschooling, ang gusto nating makita, yung teacher will not just be limited to a name of a specific teacher, but it will become a, a character, a role. Ito ay magiging isang tungkulin na kailangan gampanan. Hindi lang siya magiging pangalan teacher, teacher Josh. No. Teacher here will now mean someone who will take responsibility. Someone who will carry on the task. What responsibility and what task? Of delivering and facilitating the lesson. Okay? So it, it ceases to become simply a profession but a mission. This is how we're diving deep into independent homeschooling. Because when you need independence, you have to take responsibility. You have to assume the role. No one else will do. So as I've said previously, at the beginning of this webinar, I said it needs commitment. Are you committed to take the responsibility, to take the role of a teacher? Very, uh, it's very consoling because in the time of home-based learning, a lot of parents realize the, the responsibility of the teacher is hindi talaga ganong kadali. No? Uh, maybe a lot of parents did not at first accept homeschool, uh, home-based learning as something which is good. Madami nagsabi, sino magtuturo? Dapat kayong mga teacher. So with, with that kind of perspective, I would like you slowly to think into consideration independent homeschooling. Okay? What are the factors to consider? So, ano ba yung mga dapat natin isa alang alang? So, just a checklist. I'll share with you uh, some pointers. So, what my sharing to you this afternoon leading into is an independent homeschooling where there is no need for a provider, okay? Although it's a choice, it's, an, it's another option. You can go for homeschooling with provider and there are a lot. You just search in uh, online and it will show you so many institutions that offers uh, homeschooling. They will provide you with a curriculum and everything including how you can get uh, uh, accreditation and equivalency or will help you to 
uh, go with the PEPT, uh, the placement test. But one good thing, you can do independent homeschooling as well. So what are the factors that you need to consider? <clears throat> one good thing with independent homeschooling is you have the flexibility in time. Flexibility in time. I think this is very important. The most important thing to consider is if you have the flexibility in time, because even if it's a homeschooling with provider, time is of the essence. Mahalaga. Baka kasi you will subscribe to a provider and you don't have time. When I say time, it needs... Again, I'll go back to that premise, commitment. Because just as a regular school, it requires time. It may be less, but it has to be structured. Okay? The word is structured. Because uh, although you are not bringing school at home, you still would like to give that kind of discipline. Hindi po pwedeng mawawala yun kasi uh, take note, we are gearing the, the students, in this case, your son or your daughter, to, to you have to set a goal in mind. Na in, although you are into independent homeschooling, have that vision have that end in mind. Now, they still have to comply with the standards of the Department of Education. Okay? So, flexibility in time. May doon po bang makakapag-guide talaga sa bata? May oras ba? Okay? May oras ba? If, if parents will say, my husband is working, I am also working, no one will be left behind. My child. Well, it's a, a factor for you to consider. The first thing you have to consider is, do you have the time? If you have the time, then it is not fixed. It is flexible. Uh, in the previous slides that I've shared, it says at least four hours. If then you have to find the ways, you have to make time. You know, in family, time is uh, spelled as L-O-P-E. It's love. You know? So... You have to decide. You have to find time. You have to set aside time. Okay? So that homeschooling may, may be started. Okay? Yun po yung mahalaga dun. So maybe you, you don't have it per day, but based on the structure that you would like to set up, uh, you, you can say, let's say for one week, that means from Monday to Sunday, you, you have to set aside regardless, maybe on Monday, you will not have enough time on Monday, but on Tuesday, on Wednesday. So let's say uh, if you have at least two to two and a half hours per day or four hours to cover the major subjects, so around 20, 20 hours per week, okay? But again, it is not fixed. My point is, do you have time for independent homeschooling? Why? Uh, look at this uh, picture. It will be very stressful. This is another factor that you need to consider. Be ready. Uh, as I've said, uh, habang during that time here in Singapore that the school uh, all the schools were closed and schools went into a home-based learning na experience ng halos lahat ng teacher uh, at the same time ng parents equally shared yung hindi madali no? uh, look, look at this picture I, I got this from one of my colleagues no? Imagine if you're a teacher doing home-based learning, pero may maliit kang anak. So, ito, this is a drawing, a cartoon, but it happened. Totoo ito. 
habang ikaw ay nasa klase, you're in the Zoom class and then your little child comes to you and ask for milk or in this case, medyo may aksidente. What happened? Or kahit in the second picture, you see, stress. So, tanungin natin, in independent homeschooling, there will be a certain level of stress. But this is part of the journey. This is part of the commitment. It will, there will never be uh, a system that will be stress-free. What we can say is we can manage it. Okay? We can manage it. And of course, uh, there are materials that will be provided nakakatuwa yung mga gumagawa po ng materials for independent homeschooling considers this factor while they were creating this modular program so hindi hindi mawawala yung stress nandiyan yan unless eh, kasi hangga't nandiyan yung anak mo uh, nandiyan yung Asawa mo who is also probably working from home or may iba ka pang kasama sa bahay. Kahit na gano'n mo iset up yung place. Oh, ito ha, ito lang yung wala mo nang magulo, wala mo nang maingay. There will be uh, homeschooling time. Hindi din naman may iwasan eh. But at least, at least, I'm sorry, at least you are able to manage the stress. It will be, it will be there. But you have to consider and you have to prepare for it. Okay. So curriculum checklist. As I've said, independent homeschooling. If you listen to the webinar yesterday, they discussed ito ng mabuti. No? Uh, two important things, you know. The, the PEPT test, this is the placement test. If for the... Uh, primary education and ALS if you want to move to secondary education. So it was clearly explained that you make sure that the curriculum that you will choose is aligned with DepEd standards. Why? Why do you need to consider this? Because the accreditation and equivalency and the placement test will all be based on the DepEd curriculum. So we, we see the connection. Kung yung independent homeschooling curriculum na gagamitin po ninyo, you will use, is not aligned with the DepEd curriculum, then there will be a mismatch. If the student who is homeschooled takes the placement test, there is a great possibility that it will not be able to answer it satisfactorily. Why? Because hindi niya nakita or he, she, she, the student was not given the opportunity to be trained. He, the student was not taught the curriculum based on what the, the Department of Education has set forth. So if you're going to an independent homeschooling, curriculum is very important. It's very important. Why? Begin with the end in mind. What is that end in mind? That the student taking the homeschooling independently will eventually be taking the PEP test. Okay? Mahalaga yun. Okay? If not, then mahirapan yung bata. And the child will not be able to move up to the next level. If the child is, let's say, taking uh, grade 4, if she, if she takes the PEP test, at dahil yung kanyang curriculum hindi aligned sa DepEd, hindi siya makaka- hindi niya mamimit yung standards and therefore may not be able to move to grade 5. In the case if it's uh, grade 6, 
taking ALS, magkakadong din ng problema. So, this is on the technical side. But bear in mind that curriculum, you have to consider the learning content. Okay? The subjects, the lessons. Okay? Kung ito ay uh, independent homeschooling for high school, you have to consider, uh, is it aligned with the 21st century skills set forth by DepEd? Okay? Uh, at least for the, the, the basic uh, subjects of English, math, uh, science, and the uh, HECASI for elementary and Lincoln for high school, these major subjects, at least the learning content should be aligned with DepEd. And the materials must also be uh, considered. And one good thing now, I'm, I am I am not an employee of Rival, but they are, uh, their homeschooling materials is, they are all aligned with DepEd. So if you're interested with it, I, I, I see it's a better option than, than uh, uh, online learning or distance learning. Why? Because you can have all these materials offline. You don't take connection. And as long as the, the, the third point, as long as you're into the pace, you, you create your own pacing, how you're going to cover the lessons. Uh, ito yung kagandahan ng independent homeschooling where as compared to the regular school. So regular school, whether or not you like to go to school, papasok ka. At least for independent homeschooling, you see it is tailored fit. Uh, my dear parents and teachers who are listening, I tell you, if you have 40 students inside the classroom, you have 40 different individuals. In my years of teaching, wala dyang magkakaparehas. Magkakaiba sila. So if you have 40 students, you have 40 needs. If you are teaching English, there will be 40 students who would have 40 different needs. Or, baka yung lima magkakatulad. But not all of them will have the same level of understanding. Not all of them will have the same level of uh, coping up with the lessons. Ang maganda, in independent homeschooling, you get to tailor fit the curriculum Kasi, isa lang. Let's say, yung anak mo lang yung independent homeschooling mo, you will know his needs. You'll be able to identify ano, yung kanyang strength and weaknesses. In so doing, you will come up with a curriculum specially designed for the kid. In effect, it will address the, the specific needs. Ang, ang mahirap kasi in a regular classroom, no? kung minsan uh, kami, kaming mga teachers may mga ganitong pagkukulang ano? na magdi-discuss ng lesson and kung minsan uh, ipinagpapalagay na naintindihan ng lahat. Well, it's, it's not. It's not possible. It happens sometimes but in, in most cases, many students will really find it difficult to understand. So curriculum, if I may say, is the total learning experience of a student facilitated by the teachers. When I say total learning experience, hindi lang po ito limited ngayon sa lesson. Curriculum will also include uh, we call it in educational parlance, uh, the pedagogy, no? Yung, uh, the methods on how to, to deliver the lesson. Very interesting, yung word na pedagogy, no? Uh, comes from the word a pedagogus, no? Uh, ibig sabihin, uh, to, to assist. It was an assistant. Nung mga panahon yon, yung mga mayayamang tao, May, may assistant sila na hinahatid sa skwelahan. So, at this point, maintindihan po natin na kailangan nating pumili ng magandang materials. 
I am not endorsing the body, but as I have said, they have a very good materials to support independent homeschooling. Okay, I am not imposing, but as I have said, they, they have and they can provide. Okay, so you, you can you can go on with it. Okay, I'm an advocate of this, and uh, the less is more, you know. In the previous slides I've shared, uh, there's a tendency for some educators to, to cover a lot of lessons, but in the end, uh, we are not able to transfer the learning effectively. So in independent homeschooling, if I, I would like to, to propose this idea that we, you don't need to cover lahat po ng lessons, you know? If you see the, the structure, how DepEd provides the learning competencies, it's, the, it's not as detailed. It will just give the specific skills, okay? Mahalaga po na in independent homeschooling, makita yung skills na kinakailangan ng bata. And uh, to cover less but essential, in the words of UBD, you have to focus on the essential understanding and that which endures. Why? Because this will prepare the student being homeschooled to take on the assessment and equivalency. Okay, this will also provide family bonding. Ah, there's no place like home. Totoo po yun. Why? Because pag nasa bahay, it's the place, ideally, where you will be most comfortable. At hindi na ito second home, yung, yung teacher, hindi na siya yung second parent, alagang parent na siya. At uh, well, kampante yung bata. If there's a place where any child will be feeling secured, feeling loved and feeling taken care of, it will be the home. So, mababawasan na din po yung pag-aalala ng mga magula. Of course, in the regular school, nito uh, mga nakalipas na taon na, na invento yung salitang bullying. No? So, or any other forward experiences ng bata sa school, at least yun ay maiiwasan. Why? Because the child is studying in a place most secure, okay, where a place where he or she will be most taken care of, okay, a family bonding effort. It will not just be the work of the mother or of the father. Again, as I have said, teacher here now is not just a name of a faculty in a school, but a responsibility. It's very. Uh, I am happy to hear that during uh, the home-based learning in one of the schools where I, that I know, uh, may mga, kasi busy yung mga magulang. So si tita yung nag-aalaga, siya din yung nagtutulong na mag-review. Mag Alam po ninyo, ang pinapakita lang nitong mga pagkakataong ito, hindi po talaga kakayanin ng eskwelahan na siya lang yung nag-iisang institusyon na magtuturo sa mga bata. No? Kailangan ng suporta ng mga magulang. And in this time, yung mga magulang hindi lang susuporta. Kayo po mismo yung magbibigay ng quality education. Of course, with the support of, in this case, the Department of Education because they are the one who's going to provide the standards. Okay. And at home, a child can learn manners. I'm not saying that at school this is not being taught. Of course not. Yung skwelahan, bata pa lang ako, grade 1, may GMR sina. Okay. The values and right behavior from the people who should be in the best position to teach them. Who are this? The parents. Okay. No, at the uh, Kung maalala ninyo, ako palaging pinapaalalahanan ng nanay ko noon. No? Pag nasa ibang bahay ka, 
o kang maglilikod. Bakit? Kasi itinatanong, o yan ba ang itinuro sa iyo ng magulang mo? So, pag tayo gumawa ng mag-decide to go for an independent homeschooling, ito matututukan. O wala na ibang tatanong eh, pag gayong bata. <laughs> Nagmi-misbehave kasi kung minsan naman tinatanong ng mga nanay at ng magulang, yan ba ang tinuro sa inyo ni teacher? Oh, if it's independent homeschooling, sa bahay, wala nang ibang tatanungin. Tayo na lang pong mga magulang. No? So, you will decide, you will really mold the child in the way you would like them to be. Okay? Okay. Uh, it's an alternative as I have said. So, it's it's not uh, mandatory. You know, you have an option, but on a personal note, I would like to believe that independent homeschooling is a better option than online learning. Or well, there's a pros and cons, but on on a personal note, I see it as something which is more practical because uh, you know your child more than anyone else. Coming mga teachers, we can only observe behaviors at one place, yung classroom. Kayo din magulang. So, mas alam niyan. So, you will know what they need. You, you, they, they'll be more open to you, ideally, and I hope so. So, so let us ask. Let us ask uh, questions. Okay? So, madami pong mga nakikita ko dito may mga comments and uh, there are so many questions no about uh, education and specifically independent homeschooling so our idea of independent homeschooling is there will be no provider the parents themselves will be the one to act as teachers you will decide on what curriculum to use as long as it is based on the standards set forth by the Department of Education. The time can be decided upon also by the parents based on your flexibility and availability. And underlying this would be the word commitment. Okay? So there are a few questions that we need to consider. Will it be appropriate for my children to be educated at home? As I have said, uh, you have to do an assessment. You know, you have to do an assessment. If you see that your your child is uh, will be capable of being homeschooled, then by all means proceed, because uh, it, it it will be more beneficial for them. Now, if you are not so sure, then you have to take into consideration some uh, aspects before you proceed. Because, uh, as I have said, it will be unhealthy for the child in the first place and will be stressful for the parents to proceed with independent homeschooling. So, how can you, how will you be able to? Uh, decide on this, okay? So let's see, huh? Uh, before I proceed, there are some questions. Uh, hindi po lahat ng magulang ay nakapag-aral. Paano po nila matutulungan ang kanilang mga anak? So as I have said, there is a minimum uh, requirement set forth by uh the at, at least uh college graduate y y yun po yung yun lang po yung ating uh limitations doon in in that case you can uh go on with homeschooling with the provider kasi po yung ibang homeschooling they they will be the one to provide the they, they call it the tutor Okay? So kung, kung hindi kaya ng magulang to do the role, 
to teach, then go on with the homeschooling with provider. It cannot be an independent homeschooling. Uh, I, I, with all due respect sa mga magulang na kung talagang medyo dala ng pagkakataon eh hindi po nakapagtapos or at least reach uh, tertiary level. No? Uh, another question, I enroll my kids in their public school but I would like to apply homeschooling. Should I notify my kids teacher about it? Uh, well, this one is a very uh, crucial point, you know. Kung sa public school, you can just decide. Kasi kawawa din po yung bata, no? Imagine kung nag-aadal na siya sa public school, tapos may homeschooling pa, medyo unhealthy na po yan sa bata. Uh, ako as an educator, I would not advise that. Uh, nag-aadal na siya, tapos pagdating sa bahay, may homeschooling pa. Well, lalo kung ito ay bata, no? Uh, seven, eight years old, kailangan din ng medyo maluwag na uh, schedule sa kanila. No? Hello po, sir. What if parents has no time to guide their child in independent homeschooling? Especially po, kadamihan ng parents namin are farmers at ito lang po ang kabuhayan nila. Again, as I have said, uh, you need to consider the situation. What I'm saying is, uh, independent homeschooling really is an option. Kaya po yung unang factors that I ask you to consider is yung time. Okay? Will my children uh, get better education than those who go to school? Uh, there can be no comparison because these are different situations. Okay? So, magkaiba po iyon. Will it be hard for my children to make friends? Uh, of course not. There will also be, there will still be another, uh, many chances for them to socialize. Again, man by nature is a social being. Okay? Uh, what if the parents has no time to guide their child in independent homeschooling, especially for uh, we are both working? So as I have said, yung po yung, that's why that's the first factor that I, that I challenge you. Do you have the time? If you don't have the time, then maybe independent homeschooling is not the alternative way to educate your child. You can go on with uh, other alternative. You can go on with providers. There are those who will provide tutors who will go to your uh, house. They'll be the one to go and proceed acting as the teacher, not necessarily the parents. Okay. Will my children lack social experience? Uh, hindi po. You can still go on with this. You, you can find ways how to bring them to that experience of uh, uh, social interaction. Hindi naman ibig sabihin homeschooling, eh, kinulong na sa bahay yung bata. Ano? Hindi naman po ganun. Uh, I believe my, my ways to, to let them still feel that they belong to a society. It, it's independent homeschooling. It is not detention. Hindi naman ipukulang po yung bata. Ano? So, yeah. More, there are more questions coming in. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Will my children be accepted in the work environment in the future? Yes. Because, take note, my dear parents and teachers, when we are educating our students, we are not just solely focus on the lessons. We are focused on the skills that they need to get. Okay, the 21st century skills, okay, communication, critical thinking. And these are the skills. And this, as I have said, that's why it's very important that in independent homeschooling, you are aligned with the depth ed standards. And as I have said, I am not uh an employer of Bibal, but I have seen their homeschooling uh, package and it is aligned with DepEd. And you just have to go on with accreditation and its equivalency exam for you to be uh, qualified to proceed. 
Of course, hanggang high school lang po, pagdating ng college, then you have to go on with the regular schooling. At least you prepared your 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 child to to this. So don't worry. Pag ba nag-homeschooling, hindi na magkakaroon ng trabaho, no? Uh, there are a lot of uh, statistics showing that those who went homeschooling are currently uh, having a good uh, career. Okay? So it will not be affecting their employability, not at all. Okay, so I have a few minutes left and there are more questions coming in. Look, look at this situation, my dear parents and teachers. No? Uh, while we are planning on independent homeschooling, there are so many students around the world who are at least having this kind of situations. Kung ganito yung situation nila, then we have better alternative and independent homeschooling is one of them. So uh, Vival has their, their product, which you can later on inquire upon and you might want to consider. And yeah, I, 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 I hope I, I shared with you some insights on how to go on with independent homeschooling. Uh, independence is what real education aims for. You know, when the student by themselves can explain things, indeed there is learning. No? Kung wala na yung teacher, pero kaya pa rin mag-explain ng bata. Yun po talaga yung tunay na pagkatuto. Okay? And uh, of course, it will in, it will entail a certain amount. May, may, may bayad din po kasi pinaghahandaan din po yan ng mga, <clears throat> ng mga taong naghanda niyan. But please take note that our child's education is priceless. Wala pong katumbas na na halaga. Kaya we have to decide to give them the best. Okay? And uh, as we deep dive into independent homeschooling, I hope we see the value of uh, there's no better way to teach every child than with that concept of we love them. Why do we want to teach them? Because we, we want to really help them, right? We love them. To teach is to know, and to know is to love. And that makes every learning a happy experience, whether at home school or in a regular school. Okay, so uh, I think uh, that would be all. And I'm so happy that I'm able to share with you some of my insights on independent homeschooling. I'm sorry, there's a lot of questions, but I'm not able to read them all. And um, daming mga questions po. Okay? Thank you so much. And uh, I hope you learned something with uh, this webinar from Vibal. If you're interested, again, their homeschooling package is a good option for you to consider. Thank you very much, Sir Joseph, for this very fruitful session this afternoon. And in behalf of Vival Group Incorporated, we would like to thank you, Sir, for imparting your knowledge with all of our parents and other participants ngayong hapon po na ito. Okay. And to all the viewers that we have, magkita-kita po tayo ulit sa ating session tomorrow, same time. 4 p.m. po sa ating YouTube channel and sa Friday din po 4 p.m. din po. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat at mag-iingat po tayong lahat. Thank you. Bye-bye.